Alright, good day good people. This is Phil and I'm back with a new course for you and in this case we will learn something about Oracle SQL. Now if you're a total noob and if you've never touched SQL in your life then this is for you. We're gonna start from scratch. I will explain you to you the basics of the SQL, the structured query language. But before we go this far I would say we start with the basics here. I made a nice presentation for you folks and uh, we're gonna jump right into the definitions because there are several definitions that are very important when we are talking about databases. The first one is data. All right. So data are basically just pieces of information uh, which means for example if we take you as an example your age would be a piece of information or your height or your um, the place where you live. So any piece of information is considered data. Now the da database is an organized collection of information. I would show this to you now in, an, in a graphic after we got through the definitions. Just bear in mind now you have pieces of information and you have an organized collection of those and the organized collection is a database. Then you have a DBMS which stands for a database management system and this allows you to store data, to retrieve data and to modify data in the database, in this organized collection. And Oracle, for example, provides a DBMS, a database management system. All right. And this is basically what we're going to work with. And what we're going to do with it is we can retrieve the data from tables. So the basic storage of a database management system is a table. This is the most important thing I'd say when you work with databases, because this is where you get your information. These are the information from the beginning that you use, that you retrieve or that you can modify or delete or create. If you think right now, what, what the hell is this? I, I would show you a nice graphic because I love graphics. It makes life just so much easier to understand. All right. So what is a table? This is where we start from and a table is, like we said before, we have the data, raw data, age, height, uh, address, date of birth, data, okay? On the other hand, we have the DBMS, the database management system, Oracle in this case, all right, provides, provides this database management system. In the middle, we have the database. So this is the structured data now. You have on the right hand side the management system to work with it and the left hand side the data that goes into it. And this database, what does it have? It has several tables. In this case, table one, table two and table three. How does a table look, you ask? Like this, for example. This here is a table consisting of, oh, sorry, of employee ID, of the first name, the last name, the email and the phone number. So the employee ID is, for example, number 100 of Stephen King. His email is S. King and his phone number you can see here. So this can be table one. Let's say it's table one. And in table two and table three, there are other things. But this is where it comes down. It's a table. You might know it from Excel already. Okay, Excel is a table program. And well, a database looks just like that. And now to top it all off, SQL, the structured query language, is the language that is commonly used to work with databases. So when you write something, you write it in the SQL language, like you would write some PHP code or Python code or whatever. You write it in SQL code. <laughs> People don't usually call it like that. But in this case, it is the language to get data from this database. For example, to get the table you see on the bottom, you would get it with SQL. 
okay? I hope this was clear. If you have any questions, please put it in the comments. I will try to answer them as soon as possible. We will continue next time with some more basics about databases and then we will dive deep into the actual SQL language because this is what most of the course will be about. But I thought it would be important to you to learn what we are dealing with first. All right, have a good day folks and see you in the next tutorial.